What up, what up? It's old Marvelous in the fucking Hemi. So today, it's not really a topic, but uh, it's a topic. Um, it's more like a stream of consciousness. So just, just, just walk with me real quick. Um, this time of year, everybody know what this is about. Power comes out on the 25th. And um, the shit got me thinking, because I hear a lot of women talking about, you know, ghosts fucked up or, you know, his wife, she fucked up, whatever the case may be. Um, and I want to use this as a way to illustrate how relationships actually progress and how they actually get shit screwed up or whatever the case may be. So we all know what season six we all know what happened in the show. You know, Ghost cheated on her. She cheated on Ghost. Um, you know, there was a lot of hurt feelings, a lot of shit wrapped up, the family, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I want to dive deep into it because I you I look at relationships, and this is typically what happens in relationships. A lot of times, no one ever realizes the beginning or the initiation of the problems. You know, the root of the problems. And if you watch this show, you realize that relationship was doomed from the beginning. From season one, my son, he wanted to get out the dope game. He wanted to start from going clean. So what he, he wanted to open up his club called Truth. And what happened was that his wife didn't want no parts of that. She liked the fact that she was a drug dealer's my boss's wife. She liked all the uh, the accoutrements of being attached to a powerful drug dealer. But as usual, if you always hear me say, men are 80% logic, 20% emotion. Women are 20% emotion. Sorry, they are 80% emotion and 20% logic. So that means that they lead with their emotions. She's not thinking logically at the time. So she just likes the way it feels. That means that women feel the world. Men think it. So she's looking at it like, I like the way it feels. I like what it gives me, I like the power that I have. I like all the accoutrements, like I said earlier. He's thinking like, listen, this shit is a risky business. You already seen you went to jail already for this business. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna bring my kids up in this world. And plus, that's his dream. That's connected to who he really is. That's connected to the real ghost, not, you know what I'm saying, this mob boss that he had to be or that he thought he had to be for the family. So now, fast forward, he finds his high school sweetheart. He falls in love with her or re-falls in love with her again. That's who his heart always was with. And the reason why his heart was always with her is because... put a bookmark right there the reasons why he was in love with her is because she connected with him at his core she knew who the man really was she connected with his heart you know what i'm saying and think about it men are builders men are we are the creators if you look at every skyline in this in the world look at every creation and invention men created it or 95 percent of them now women Got it fucked up. They say they're the creators. No, we're the creators. Women are the procreators. As above, so below. Meaning that, again, if you look at what happens with, what does semen do? Semen carries most of the genetic material and gives the egg direction. As you always hear me say, men lead. Motion cannot lead. Logic, logic lead. So now, since men are the builders and the creators, your creation is an extension of who you are. Your creation is who you are at your core. And Angie, she connected with who he was at the core of things. Tasha did not. Tasha loved ghosts for what ghosts did for her, for what way the, that way that ghost made her feel. That has nothing to do with ghosts. And that's why Ghost wasn't connected to him, to her. You know what I'm saying? She was, he was connected to, to, to Angie because 
that woman actually knew how to tap into his soul at the core of the man and actually connected to his dream, connected to who he was as a man. And that's the reason why he was unable to get over her. And that's the reason why he's connected to her. And that's the reason why he wasn't connected to Tasha. But a lot of women, the reason why I use this as a, as a talking point, because a lot of women don't understand that. They just say, you know, they look at men for what they can provide for them. They look at men for what they can do for them. And whether that man realizes that or not, on a subconscious level, he doesn't feel connected to you. You're connected to what he can do for you, not who he is. You don't believe me? Ask your woman, if you're a guy, ask your woman, what does she love about you? What does she like about you? And I bet you everything that she names, none of those things will be independent of her. Meaning that everything that she loves about you is the way she, you make her feel. Everything that she loves about you is has to be intertwined with her. If there's something that about you which actually is the core of you and makes you who you are as a man, if it doesn't connect with her, she won't even recognize it half the time. And now as a woman, if you're watching this, I ask you, what do you love about that man other than the way you, he makes you feel? The things that about him, like for instance, he loves sports. You love that about him? Do you see why he loves sports? If you don't, if you ask, if you do not watch them, I'm talking about. If you don't like sports, he has an interest that you don't like. Can you at least appreciate the reason why he likes that? Well, he has that interest. So that I I, I love power and. I love that show because it really articulates a lot of times what goes wrong in relationships. Now, ghosts, on the other hand, that's why as men, men, you have to have hard balance because he has to know himself and know who he is and who he's not. He should have cut her off from the rip. Off rip, he should have stopped fucking with her because at the end of the day, she doesn't fuck with him for real. She fucks with how he makes her feel. She didn't really give a fuck about him. And a lot of women, I'm sure, when I watch this and say, no, he, that she did not. She cared about her kids. She cared about protecting her interests. She cared about protecting her lifestyle. She didn't care about him as a man. Because if she cared about him as a man, she wouldn't have wanted him to be in a situation like that to where you're risking your life every fucking day and you're risk it, risking the family's life every day. You cared about the lifestyle. You didn't care about him. If you cared about him, you would have supported his dream to get out the dope game. And if you really loved him, you would have brought into his dream. Because he had a functioning club. It wasn't like it was some amorphous thing that wasn't, wasn't profitable. Clubs make wild bread. So they could have supported the family with that. You know what I'm saying? And even still, if you love him, you would have found, you would love what he's about. Everything that he's about. Especially if it's positive. It's about positive things, not negative. And it also, if you loved him, you wouldn't want him to risk his life every day to sustain a lifestyle. Like, comment, subscribe, notifications, share this shit. You fucking with me on Instagram, omarvelous underscore one. That's my Instagram. DM me, comment, ask me fucking questions. I am here for y'all. Thank you. I appreciate you.